Yeah, good morning. Welcome to our house. In this video, we are going to show you how to operate the digital inverter wobble technology Samsung washing machine from one to three. As easy as one, Jeff. Here we go. So the first step, we were here in the first step. The first step is actually to, to select a location. So in our case, our house is very small. We strategize it to like put in a location where it will be near to the, the exhaust, right? The exhaust and then the source of water. So in our case, it will be it's near in the comfort room. This is our comfort the drainage. room here. The drainage. Yeah, the drainage. The drainage. Um, and so that's the first and second step. Select a location, and the second is to is to adjust the leveling feet. In our case, we didn't do anything about the leveling feet. We just put the washing machine there and that's it. Because I think it's already like built in. But we're interested in the third step, which is connecting the hose to the water source. This is very important because this is something that we missed when we first, when we first do our uh, first laundry using the washing machine. And so, um, if you, if you, if you open the package uh, after you receive the washing machine, the first you will see this. Um, what do you? Would you call like this? to show them how you connected yeah. that? Uh, uh, what do you call this one? Hose. Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> the, the washing machine will only have this hose here, from here and here, this white thing. But since our water source it, to to the washing machine is, it will take like I think two meters more, and this is like how many? Like a half a meter or one meter? One meter. One meter. We need like um, two to three meters more to connect it to the washing machine. And so, um, so what we did was we actually like uh, uh, operated the washing machine using this. We didn't. We didn't use the water source. We like operate it, and then we put water using the timba. <laughs> this one. And put it, <laughs> and put it in the washing machine. <laughs> Like, like, a, like, a, like the traditional way of doing it. And so that's, that's what our life were doomed at that time. And so what happened was it didn't work. We, drain, we didn't drain our laundry for like two hours. And then we would keep on looking at the washing machine. And then, oh my God, there's nothing. There's no improvement in it. It's not moving. The time is not moving. So I think that's we learned that something is wrong with what we're doing. And so we rushed the wheel climb. Thanks to Yoka. It's not a great advertisement, but... Thank you for providing us and helping us buy this extension. What do you call this one? A uh, hose, yeah. extension hose. So what I'm saying about Wilkin is that um, they knew very well how to help us. And so I actually bring a brought with me this hose and then and all of this all of this extension hose and the connectors, they already they they, they themselves did this. Um, these are actually like four packages of different items connected into the whole thing, and so there's a there's a connector from the from the from the hose from the Samsung until this, and then it will oh, be no, connected like, to the. Yeah. This yeah. is different thing. Oh, yeah. uh, this one is connected to the water source, and then this one is connected to the hose, and as designed by the Samsung, this will be connected to the washing machine later. And so one tip that I learned from this is before you go to Wilcon or to any hardware. Uh, you need to see if the head or the edge of the faucet has like this. What do you call this one? Please comment down below. What do you call this? Because um, without this like um, grip, grip or something, yeah, uh, you will not be able to connect it to the hose. And so, Ooh. so we're going to do it now. We are going that to do it now. That is a special faucet. Yeah, because some of the like subdivisions or the houses, the faucet do not have a grip like this, so it will not connect. It's very important. And so we are going to connect it now. So you need to make sure <clears throat> that the grip is like fully uh, connected till the end. It's uh, it's secure, so that you'll, sh you'll you'll be sure that there will be no leak later. Okay. So the water already was connected to the source, and what next is to inst install this um, hose to the washing machine. 
by just um, connecting it to this blue one. As you can see, the blue one still had this grip here, which is just very important so that there will be no leak. Mm -hmm. So it's so easy. It's just that's it, and you're done with your first, second, and third step. Let's see what will be the next step. The fourth step is to actually connect the drainage, the exhaust of drainage the water. Holes. Mm. Right. Drain so um, this one is um, included in the package that we bought in the washing machine, and it's like, <laughs> wow. and, like wow. and so it only had, of course, uh, an input and an output, and. Um, so you will know which one is for the input and which one is for the output because it has something like like a, like a, a, lock? a wire, like a, like a wire or something that serves as a lock in the exhaust of the washing machine. So let's see where are we going to put this? We are going to put this in this part of the washing machine. If you can see it, this one. So let's do this. Okay, and so sorry. <laughs> so that's a that's a lesson learned. You need to be sure that it's safe because the pressure of the water might might like push it out. Uh, like as you can see, so I think it also has. I think that's enough. Enough. That's enough. And we are putting it in the drainage in the comfort room so that um, there will be no spill of water. Uh -huh. Connecting the hose to the water source. Can you show them? It's, it's already that. connected. And then the next step is to load your laundry inside the tub. So as you can see, let's show them the As you can see, you already <laughs> loaded the laundry. I showed it in the video <laughs> before. So, and of course, you should load the detergent and the fabric softener. So um, Samsung recommended using the what do you call this? Powder. powder detergent instead of liquid so we, we could maximize this feature that they have and then of course the fabric softener and then oh yeah, oh they <laughs> <laughs> have this drawer specifically for the laundry and then oh here so uh figure a tip lang uh, you should ensure that the load is balanced so that it will not shake when it's like rotating already so uh, yeah so you can close the washing machine and then Turn on. Okay, we're going to turn on the water. This is very important. Yeah, yeah. Because at first you also missed this part. Yeah. <laughs> so we already connected the hose, but not open the water source, which is a bad thing, right? <laughs> you need to turn it on. You just wonder why it's not working. And then of course you should switch on your washing machine. Press this power button. Oh. So let's show them the the panel. Yeah, the panel. Just on. Oh. Yeah. And so uh, we have a, we have loaded just the regular set of clothes. So uh, prior to this, pala, we segregated our laundry to its different categories or types. So we separated the jeans, the normal clothes, like the cotton clothes, and the, we, ha we have towels, uh, towels, the delicate ones. So yeah, so these are just normal clothes, the clothes that you can use to wear um, like on a daily basis, except for the jeans. So um, as you can see in the operating panel that we have shown you earlier, there are different cycles that you can choose from. So for now, just choose this normal cycle. So all you need to do is to press cycle oh cycle one. So by default, it's already selected. So you just have to define. Uh, the water level. So as you can see, the sub is quite full with laundry. So we need to set it at a quite high level. Like set it at 9. And then wash time. Which one the, I don't know. Wash time. Um, it's up to you. 
um, if um, how long would you want the laundry to be washed? But as soon as you selected cycle, what it already has this default um, setting. So, but if you want it to be like longer, you can also set it at 27 or max 30 minutes. So, just let's say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, by default it's just once, but uh, let's set it at twice. So every rinse time is equivalent to 30 minutes, right? Yeah. So if you set it at two, so expect uh, 30 minutes, what? Yeah, expect an additional um, one at uh, 30 minutes from the default setting, and then spin time is set at the number of minutes. So by default it's five minutes. So that's for the normal wash, and if you also want an extra way of drying your clothes because we, uh, as you can see this top load washing machine so it doesn't have a dryer on it so you can set it you can, it has an air turbo but where um, aside from spinning it you have this additional number of minutes where it can spin more so just press start press the start button press start here we go wow. <laughs> and then voila <laughs> <laughs>